In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put an image into text here in Photoshop. So first we need some text. Let's press T. That's the type tool here in Photoshop. And we can just click on our canvas or artboard here and we can type something in. I'm going to type in the word clouds in all caps. And I don't see anything because I'm actually typing in white on white. I could click and drag to select this text and make sure I give it some kind of color that I can see. Now to quickly scale up text up and down, you actually don't need to just select a point size. You can, in fact, go back to your move tool and just press command or control T to transform text. And then you can scale it up using one of the corners. Make sure you're not skewing it. So if you have to hold shift, you might need to. If your settings allow you to not hold shift, then you don't have to. So we've got this word out here, clouds. Well, you can imagine the image I'm going to put into it, right? So I press return to commit my transformation change. And now I need to bring in an image. Uh, in this case, I'm going to bring in an image of clouds. I can either go up to file down to place embedded or find something out in my finder window or your windows uh, search window, whatever the windows called in, in windows, the file explorer. And you can click and drag an image in here. That'll do the same thing. But I'm going to go up to file place embedded. I'm going to go find an image. I believe if I look at, actually, this is it right here. Here's the clouds image, and I can place that in here. Now, once it's placed in, I can actually resize the photo before I commit it to uh, being in my document. And I can press the return key. Now, let's take a look at what we have. We have a layer that is the image, and we have a layer that is the text. We can hide the image and see the text underneath. To place an image or any kind of layer inside of text or any kind of layer below it, I, I preface that because we can use this technique for other things, we need to create what's called a clipping mask. The easiest way to do that is if you're on a Mac, you can actually hold the Option key. And if you're on Windows, you can hold the Alt key. And when you're between two layers, you'll get this little icon that's a square with a down arrow. You can click to create a clipping mask. What it does is it tells anything that has this little arrow to it, this clipping mask, to only exist within the elements of the layer below it. In this case, the layer below it is text, and it says clouds. And that is uh, the only area where there's text on this layer is the only area where the image can show through. And so we can actually still edit the word clouds. Uh, so what if I just type in cloud, right? Uh, so we can still edit this text and we can even move it around. We can scale up the image up and down. So let me show you here. I could resize my text and you can see how it resizes the text only. The image does not resize. So I can press return. Remember that was Commander Control T, that free transform tool. I can also click on the layer of my photo and resize it. So I can press Commander Control T again to resize the clouds underneath the uh, actual text. I can also reposition it just by clicking and dragging. So if I wanted to, I could position this like that and then press the return key. Now, if you want these to be uh, linked together, so for instance, it can be kind of difficult to move you know this layer and then also move this layer or you always have to select both of them and sometimes your clipping mask can be like multiple layers clipped to one text layer here so you know to keep from having to select both of them all the time one thing you can do is select both of them the first time right click and link them together so once you're good with how it looks you can link those two layers and those two layers will be linked together and anything you do to one of them will be done to the other. So we have the clouds type layer selected. We move it around and the image moves with it. If we want to scale it with Commander Control T, the image scales with it. So with those layers linked, they actually work together now. There's another way you can do this without linking it. I actually really like linking layers. I think uh, that's that's a relatively new technique for me, and it's probably one that I'll use more often because, uh, you know, the other thing you can do is take everything that's sort of in this clipping mask and you can group it. So I have them all selected and I can put them into a group and I could call this group the clouds photo. 
And then I could, you know, inside this group, I can drop it down and see everything. But if I just uh, minimize that and click on the group itself, it does the same thing where everything sort of moves around. Same thing with scaling up and down. They all scale up and down together because I'm actually scaling the group, not any individual layer. But linking layers together, sometimes they aren't right next to each other and you might need to link them together uh, to actually get that effect. Makes things a lot more usable, but that is how you can place images inside of text here in Photoshop.